Hey guys, I just wanted to bring you this quick video on how I made my interchangeable or removable whiteboard. Okay, so I have, live in an apartment, so I don't have that much space. Um, I want multiple whiteboards on the wall because I come up with ideas all the time. I need something to write, I need a place to write them down. So when I have an idea, I write it down, but then in a couple minutes, I might have another idea. So I don't want to erase this idea to put my other idea on. So I want to be able to have my idea here. And then when I come up with another idea, I can take this whiteboard down, put another whiteboard up, and put my other idea on the board so I can save my information. Um, and then I, when I have time to get back to it, then I can, you know, document it, file it on the computer or whatever you have. Okay, so I do better writing my ideas on a whiteboard than trying to put them on the computer, like my ideas originally on a computer. Okay, so um, what I did was I went to, you know, your home improvement store and I got what's called marker board. Marker board is much, much cheaper than buying an actual white board, okay? This whole board, I got two of these, and it was like $13 total, and so it's a four foot tall by eight foot wide section, and I had them cut it in half, okay? So now I have two four foot by four foot pieces of white board, okay? Um, what I did was I got a piece of wood on the bottom and it's a little bit thicker and it offers a ledge for the whiteboard to sit on, okay? On the sides, um, you need to put something on there that will put pressure on the board up against the wall so that, you know, when you're working on the middle of the whiteboard, it's not bubbling in and out. There's no space there. Um, so you need a couple of them. Originally, I only had, you know, these three on this side and those three on that side, but it wasn't enough because this top was still bubbling out. So I put a couple on the top as well. So, um, these pieces of board on the sides and on the top are not as big and thick as the one that's on the bottom because they're not providing ledges for the whiteboard to sit. What these actually are is um, cabinet fixtures or they're you know the hinges, spring-loaded hinges. Um, so what I do if I want to take this one off and put another one on is I pull this string that I attached as a handle Let's see if I can get a little bit closer for you to see. Um, so on this one, this is just a cabinet spring-loaded hinge. I bolted it to the side um, piece of wood. I'm going to pull on this string that I attached, and then it's going to open. All right. Now I can remove the whiteboard. Um, since the spring is metal, I didn't want it to come in contact with the board. It could scrape it up. So what I did was I took an old bicycle tire and I folded it in half and I made this, um, you know, this, this cushion. Okay, so this cushion is probably a centimeter thick and um, I can close it and it closes tight or I can open it up and it opens it all the way. Okay, so um, if we go back to the big screen, I'll show you how I remove it. So I already opened this one. Now I just need to open up the rest of them. Okay. So now all my springs are open. Now all I do is I just pull this one out. This one comes off. I can set it to the side and then I'll go get my other whiteboard that has 
a completely separate idea on it. So this is a whole nother whiteboard and I can just put it right in <coughs> close it in that's a whole nother whiteboard this was the original one that's another whiteboard and now I can put a whole nother idea on it okay so this is a way to save some space when you're in an apartment make an interchangeable whiteboard you heard it here first this is green fitness systems if you have any questions want any details on how I did it just leave me a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible you guys have a great day